What's up everybody, George from Retro GT. Today, I got a new video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna be installing some new side markers onto my Renegade, both left and right. I got these on Amazon, Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so before we actually get started, let me go ahead and show you it, uh, what it is exactly I got. So, these are the lights. I got these off of Amazon, like I said. And let's just go through them real quick. You get two of each. These are the tinted side markers that I ordered. I really liked them because it's got that iconic Renegade X. I think it looks really dope. The cool thing about these lights is we could literally just plug them in and call it good. Or with the wiring harnesses that it comes with back here, we could actually make these as turning signals. Honestly, I could show you how to do both, but this is pretty straightforward. You basically just unplug it and where the light plugs in, you plug this into the existing outlet. Think of it as this thing being your entire bulb. Just works like it originally does. But with the wiring harness, it uh, works a little differently. This one will plug into your DRL light bulb itself. And this will go to the connector that connects to the light bulb. So it all makes one circuit and it's gonna work like turn signal. So that's the best part. So I'm gonna wire them this way because it comes with this and I think it'll look neat. And uh, let me show you guys. Once you have your hood open, we're gonna look in here. You can kind of see this. Well, oh, it's really hard to see actually. Yeah. There you go. That middle clip right there is what's holding in your side markers. So you can just reach down there with the hand and push it out. Just like that, pops right out. And then you just push in this push tab and pull. There you go. So easy you could do it with one hand. We will be reusing this clip since the originals don't have it. And you're probably wondering why mine are already dark. Well, I, I tinted these some time ago with some tint wrap, but I'll get into that later. So when it comes to removing this piece, inside of here, there's a little clip that's holding up against here. So with a small screwdriver or some sort of pin, we'll push down on that and we will be able to release this and we can pull it out. There you go, you can kind of see that right there. That uh, little pin, this little notch that sticks out, you just gotta push it down and pull it out of, uh, pull it out of here. And that's how you get your pin and we're gonna insert it back the same way. Just a little heads up guys, when you put it into your new light, remember to lift that tab back up, otherwise it won't sit far enough. But now, we should be good. Okay guys, one last thing to show you before we actually put it on. So, I was trying to test fit it and I realized that it's not fitting quite right. So what it is, this piece up here, I actually shortened down, but you can see that I cut it right there. Let me show you what I what it looked like before. So it's actually pretty tall, you can see it. It uh, protrudes a little bit versus what I cut. So you can see, you're gonna have to shim it down some. I mean, I'm, I cut off quite a bit of it, about half or so. And now it fits pretty well, but that's the weird unfortunate thing about these lights is you will have to cut it modify it a little bit I mean that's nothing bad honestly I used a small blade that you can buy anywhere I got this one at Walmart I just literally just shimmed it down and it just slid right into it okay guys so the way we're gonna install this is we're no longer gonna need these anymore we're gonna just go ahead and push that in we're gonna feed the rest of the wire down this hole and it's gonna come out right at where your DRLs are gonna be. About there's good. And let's get down here again. If you've seen my DRLs or fog light video, you know that we've been down here many times. You wanna unscrew these two, pop them off, and we'll get to where we need. All right guys, once you have that in there, go ahead and reach in there. You can feel your harness. Go ahead and grab it and pull it down. Perfect. Now, once you're back here, you're gonna feel two harnesses. There's one straight down, that's, that's your fog lights, then you have your DRLs, and then you have your turning signals. So if you reach in there and grab your turning signal light, go ahead and take it out. We're gonna unclip it right here. Just lift this up, pull off. We have a connector that looks just like this on our harness. That would be this one right here. This is gonna plug into there Oh, we got it backwards. Just like this. Click into place. Now we'll put this back in. Perfect. 
Now the piece that goes into this side is the one we just unplugged, so these two go together. All right, like this. Perfect. The last thing we do is plug in the light. All right, so back over here, I have the turdy signal on right now, and the reason why I do that is because these are directional. So if I plug this in wrong, and it's not lighting up with the turn signal, then I have it backwards. So I'm gonna turn this around, try it again. Boom, there we go. Heck yeah. That's in, we'll peel the tape off here in a second. Just wanna make sure I can test fit it again. Make sure it fits in there. Looks like it's going to. Perfect. I'll remove the tape and then we'll slap it fully on. Almost forgot to mention, before you put anything on, Definitely want to clean your area, especially where the adhesive is going to go. You just don't want it to fall off when you're driving down the road. So remember, clean the area. Here we go. We got it in sequence. Awesome. Very, very sweet. These are going to work out pretty awesomely. So I showed you how to do it on the one side. Repeat the step on the other side. It works exactly the same. Should be straight up and easy. No problem, you got it. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the other way you can do this. You can wire it this way where you take your old bulb out. You're going to keep this, you're going to keep this piece down here and we're going to actually pull the bulb out. Pull the bulb out, clip this thing back in and then directly plug in the light into the harness. Let me go start up the car and show you. Now this will always run as a DRL if I leave it like this. If you want to run it this way, that's totally fine. That's the way it was technically made. But if you want to make it into a turn signal, you could wire it like the way I showed you and it will work with no problems. So it's up to you guys. Showed you how to do both ways. Whatever you want to do, whatever option. I might, I kind of like this look a little bit better, but the turn signal one's pretty cool too. The good thing is you have options. All right, guys, that's all I had for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you're interested in these same lights, I will leave them in the description below. Also, if you're interested in how I tinted out these lights originally before I changed them out, I will link the video right here. And here in the next couple weeks, I ordered some wheels and tires. They'll be in in a few weeks. So if you guys want to see the video on how to lift a Renegade, we did lift this car. We put a two inch lift kit from Rough Country. If you want to see that video, it'll be right here. And that's all I had for you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment and uh, I'll see you in the next one.